Let us continue with our lesson and today what we will do is we have set our gameplay, it's, everything is working fine and now the thing is that you cannot uh, click that this image view anymore because the winner is already set and the game point and we have disabled it. So let us add a button over here to enable our gameplay again. So for that what we will do is we need to set one button over here and when the user clicks the start then we will start to gameplay and for that what I will do is I will just go to the button section over here and just add a one button over here and let me constrain it below this one which is our the message and let me constrain it below 16 and left and right to just 8 and 8 that should be fine and also I will set a button ID to a btn I will just call as a gameplay button G A M E sorry G A M E uh, E L A Y so gameplay button gameplay and the next thing is that I need to change the color and the text so let's remove the text from here and let us change the background color to something like a green okay and let us add a text so for the text what we need to do is let us create a string variable and let us give it a string of a name as a btn start start game and we will say as a start and also let us create for a stop so it's trng string name btn underscore stop stop game yeah and let's say stop it so i say stop and let's go and let's add the initial value as a start so just go to text and select that over here so where is that one okay btn start game just click on okay so we have a uh, start is in black color we need to change it to white color and let me also set the width to 200 dp it's just set a uh, layout width to 200 dp and that should be uh, fine so it will just stretch it a little bit and the next thing is to change the color of that uh, button text so let's go to the color over here if you see letter like app and let's go to the rest over here inside the resource we have a values and inside the values we have a color so we can create a new color over here i'll just say as a color color name uh, let us give as a whit white and in the white color for that we can just say as a has uh, f f f f six time f will give us a color code of uh, white color so you can just google it for the color code uh, st uh, we can say just as uh, you can just refer as uh, i think you can search with the html color code i think or maybe you can just go and call it now so i will just go and search for that color code and let me show you so i'll say html color code and when we say uh, html color code and i have one okay html color code if i drag and show you over here you can see when i search for html color code i get uh, the first link html color codes and we have a lot of color over here you can see and i just can pick some color from here let's say i pick uh, this color and i get the code over here if you go and select this one you get some color code yeah that should be fine or else we can also go to the google color and G -O -G -L -A google C -O -L -O -R color code and this will give us a let's go to the first link the color system material design and here we will find a lot of colors yeah you can see if you have a lot of color over here and we can select the color that you want from here yeah yeah that's the color code 2014 material design color plate and we have a lot of color we can select from here you can just copy any of the code 
from here this i'm just using this one white color and black is here and you can also use other color code so that's it and let me close this one i don't need it or okay i don't need it let me close it so what i will do is i have set a white color and let's go to our activity and i will just change the text color so for that let's scroll down and let's go to our text color over here and i can select from here as a white or else okay what i can do is text color let me give it this one and i can go up to here and i can just select from here the text color and go just select from here and i'll just say white yeah we have a white color for now okay that's how uh, everything look fine and what we need to do is we need to set up okay we just copy the id of this one btn gameplay and the next thing that we need to do is this button initial value is now on uh, it's enabled so user just can click it but when we just launch the application we don't want this button to be clickable or we don't want the user can click this button so we need to disable it first so i'll just go over here and i'll just say as uh, di sable disable the dice image we need to disable the dice image when we first launch the application so i'll just say dice image and dot each enable equals to false f a l s c false so that will disable it so now when you actually go and run the application let's go and run it let me open the illuminator over here and now when you click on you cannot see click you cannot click that in any image anymore you cannot generate a the button and play the game so when we click on this start button we need to enable that it so for that what we will do is we'll go over here and just get the id of that button and go to the main activity again just paste this one and set the set on click listener so we'll just set a on click listener and inside this when we click on that i will enable this one so just copy this one again and just place it here and i'll just say as a true that will enable that button and i'll just say that comment it as a e n a b l -E, enable dice image so that will enable the dice image and let's uh, go and run the application and let us test it again and now when you click on it it's not generating any number so if we click on start and play again so we are able to click so that's working fine so we our game is started and now when the game ends when the game ends so let me end the game first and let me say okay so game is a player a is the winner so now again we cannot click it right so again we say start and that should again enable the gameplay so because we need to reset everything so when the start is we need to reset the game point for player a and also for the player b then we should again restart so that's uh, again another job for us so let's meet up in the next lecture and we'll continue with again.